Yeah, what's good? What's good, world? It's your boy Kazi, four letters. Yo, it's Bishop Omega, 19 and a half letters. Yeah, and we are live at the groom room. Again, because we ain't got no other place <laughs> to go besides the groom room. Oh, uh, we got a few other places no, we to don't. go, but we Dude, love, we love the groom room. room. We love coming to the groom room. Groom room holds us down out here. Shouts out to E. Excuse me, right? Right now, do what we do. Everybody share what you share um, in your timeline right now if you're watching at home. You know, we ain't never tell us you ratchet. Um, just take it and share it in your timeline with your people. Let them know you're watching. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to do right now. Mm-hmm. Take that. But yeah, right now we uh we just sharing everything at home. Um, intelligentlyratchet.com also is the website we got popping. Uh, if you like it up as you're joining in right now. Yep. Don't do the inception. Remember, to, <laughs> if you're in a live audience or whatever, don't inception it. Y'all know how we do it. Yeah, and now now e, E's doing the same thing. <laughs> e's doing the same thing. Like it up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We're going to talk awesome. about some. What are we going to talk about tonight, though? Everybody's just tuning in right now. Everybody's jumping in the feed. What we we got some We got some crazy man? stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about Beyonce. Uh, Twins, yeah, we, we gotta, gotta talk, talk about, about that. that. We gotta talk about Beyonce twins. Okay, uh, shoot, we gotta talk about um, what else we got we going got, on? We gonna talk about the Super Bowl. We gotta talk about, about the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl, how that just went down. Um, we gonna talk about uh, you know, the whole everything going on. You know, what's new in Trump news? Yes. What's the new Trump news going on? Trump it's news. Always something, isn't it? Trump news. And it's always something. There's always something on Trump news. And, right? um, why do you have to go through all that on your phone? I don't know, man. Why, why? You should. You can't go right to the feed and just and just share. It don't let me do that for some yeah. reason. Wow. Yeah. That's what happens. You got a, you got a cricket phone, don't you? No, nah, I got an iPhone cricket. seven. Boom. We in the game now. Boom. All right. Shout out to Cricket hey. Networks. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Oh, Welcome so we got we got a whole bunch of So we're going to talk about Donald Trump's convo with Putin. Putin. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about the uh, the UC Berkeley protest and everything like that. Every, no. We're going to talk about the water in Chapel Hill. Yes. Is it safe to drink the water in Chapel Hill right now? Is it? Would you drink the water in the hill? I wasn't right drinking now? the water in Chapel Is Hill the any, whole, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just didn't but trust it. There's a whole fiasco surrounding like how the water, you know, the water situation in Chapel Hill. So um, we're gonna talk about that. You know what I mean? And uh, if it's safe to drink the water, you know what I mean? Um, we're gonna talk about uh, Steve Bannon a little bit about what he got going on and. Uh, yeah, and just talk about like we always talk, man. Hustle and flow, bro. You That's what, what it is, man. So Yo, you're joining right now. Like it's up. Like it's up out there. Shout out to Durham Beer Supply Company and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? With the with the t-shirt. They're, they're our sponsor. Well, he he's our sponsor for for the next three to three weeks or whatever. Yeah. And then we're going we gonna, to, if he will stop paying us more beard oil yeah. and, and cocaine. <laughs> Well, yeah. I want all my beer, shit, yeah. cocaine. That's what I'm saying now. Definitely, shouts out to uh, yeah, Durham Beard Supply Company. You know, what I mean, shouts out to Bull City Cigars. Um, Jeff Amendola over there always holds us down, and uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, what's good, King what's in the good? building? King um, in the building. Don't call. Also, you know what I'm saying. Right now, uh, we working on what we working on with the GoFundMe. You know, what I mean? so everybody out there that's supporting Intelligently Ratchet. Uh, we're going to post the link for the GoFundMe. We're trying to get a new camera. We're going to get a new camera and get the Wirecast program to make the show more popular for y'all. So uh, make sure y'all look out for us. You know what I mean? Like, it's not popping enough. You know how popping this show is already. And now it's going to be extra, even more popping. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just look out for us on the GoFundMe. Pass the collection pick to the left. Yes, please. Mean? And uh, yeah, we got some family. All we need, all we need, all we need is three dollars. Yep. yep we it. only need three dollars from each and every one of you. That's it. Beautiful souls. That's it. That's in the ratchet land. We yeah. just need three dollars. You know what, cause I think we're in the wrong. Are we in the wrong spot? No, we in the right are spot. You okay, mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, we are in the right cool. spot. I'm just gotta like, sit up a little I just bit. Gotta sit up. Up. There, there, there you go. go. There yep. it is. Okay, cool. I feel so, like I'm still so close to you. Nah, you good. Right. Shouts out to everybody in the building, though. We got the big homie Steven in the building. Nerves in the building. Got Nerves. Thurs in the building right yeah, now. Man. So Awesome. <clears throat> it's going to be a dope episode. It's a straight sausage party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sword fight, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, we do it. But yeah, let's just start out, man, with, the, um, with that Super Bowl, man. I just want to start out by talking about that. Like, the Patriots... 
Got another one, you know what I mean? Uh, Atlanta was up 28 points. Let's talk about this. How Atlanta came out there and punched the Patriots in the mouth. Yeah. Yo, they were they was grown manning. It's, they was grown manning the Patriots. And then I was like, I said because I was I was watching uh, the uh, the Super Bowl with Yacht and mm-hmm. um, Jeff or whatever at um, at uh, Bowl City, City Cigars. Cigars. Yeah. Uh, so we was out there watching the joint there, and um, I was like, man, they love he. I said, don't don't sit on your laurels. That's a lot of time for Brady. Right. That's a lot of time for cheating and for you know what I'm saying for Satan's magic to start working again. <laughs> And you know what I'm saying? Like, and cheating ass. And Satan's ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't hating on the pictures. I, I say this. The Falcons came out, started, blew the doors off the game. I didn't even see that. I didn't even think they were going to come at the Patriots right. like that. But I'll say this. When they got up at halftime, it's like they got happy with themselves. It's like they got, like, they took their foot off the gas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You cannot do that. Then you start playing... How can I say? It? Then you start playing instead of playing to win, you start playing not to lose, lose right? right? And I think that if you didn't think that the Patriots were going to come out that locker room guns blazing, then you didn't even have your mind right. What I'm saying is that's right because I know what Belichick did. Belichick <laughs> sacrificed a three year, uh, three month old baby goat. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? And then he said to him, he, he lit some black candles. Right. He got that. He got that same dark force power that Trump got to get to the presidency. He took some of that from Trump and went out there. Like right. all Atlanta needed to do to win a game was to score one more touchdown and maybe score a field goal. They would put the game out of the way. Right. That would have been gone. You know what I'm saying? Just play and play solid defense. True That's that. all he had to do. Yeah. True that. I, I, so do you feel like? You know, sometimes I look at it, I say, did the Patriots take it or did the, uh, you know, did the Falcons blow it? And I feel like we're we gonna, we gonna ask the Ratchet Tears. Yeah, yeah. Did the Patriots, did, did the Falcons choke or did the Patriots come back and take it? What do y'all got? What do you got, studio audience live? Patriots took that shit. Patriots took that shit? That was Steve. Don't call me Steve. Don't call me Steve. Don't call me Steve. Steve. <laughs> Falcons blew it. Uh, yeah, Fal- Falcons handed it to him. Huh? What you got, third? What yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. You know what? You know what? Never mind. Shout out, shout out, shout out the third for going skydiving and shit. You know what I'm saying? Ever since, yeah. ever since he went skydiving, he been acting real different. Like he don't even answer the phone anymore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Earthsea said, "What choke? You know what I mean? Illuminati was strong that night." <laughs> Shane yeah. is stupid. I say this. I feel like they did choke. I feel like they did choke. I right. feel like they did choke. Now, the Patriots came out and took it. It's a little bit of both, but they choked, I think, overall because like they didn't, you they had the 28 unanswered. Like, at some point, you're shitting in your pants when you're out there. You're right. not, like, playing like they, they, they missed, playing they missed, how, don't, how, don't, how don't you take the opportunity of turnovers and they missed a fucking field goal? Because you say to yourself, uh-oh, this is the part where we lose. Right. Like, that. at some point, they said that, you know, in they, in they action and they effort, they right. were like, oh, shit, like, we're going to lose. And then the, then the action just happened. You know what I mean? The universe responded to their to they effort and their energy, but... Tom Brady's a bad man, greatest ever. I can't even argue with it. Still I mean, an asshole, yeah, whether you like him or not, whether you know, what I mean, he's, still an he's a cover of GQ magazine. How many Super Bowl rings? Doesn't matter. Uh, Victoria's Secret wife. I can't be mad at Tom. His wife Brady, still make more money than him. I can't be mad at Tom Brady, man. <laughs> it's, still wife, it's still his wife. Yeah, his and wife. And his wife's breadwinner and shit. So yeah. shout out Tom Brady. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I, I don't. He's not my guy. Don't get me he's wrong. Right. He's not my guy. I feel, I feel like I feel like yo. I, I feel like if the Cowboys actually get big enough, uh, I won't go to the Brady Tom Brady house party. But Cosby be there with flip flops on. I feel like that's what he's gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? Yo, first yeah, of all, I you, wouldn't be at a party with flip flops on. You, I, I, I feel like I feel like because you from nah, true. nah. Actually, but the yeah. thing is, this what, what, what you talking about brings Maybe up Maybe boat shoes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, boat oh, shoes. Chancletas. <laughs> I wear chancletas. Boat shoes, a polo. A polo with a polo. Right, right above the knee. With the duck head shorts. <laughs> Steven, though. Duck head shorts. <laughs> Steven, though. I'll get bougie on your ass. Oh, for, shit. For, for the, the right a, occasion. With an ascot. <laughs> for the right occasion, yes. I'm, yeah, I'll get real bougie. I'll get Carlton Banks on you for the right occasion. You know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, oh, you know, you bring up a good point because 
with the with the Patriots winning the Super Bowl. Um, first of all, let me say this: shouts out to James White, man. James yeah. White had three TDs. I know the MVP went to Tom Brady, but you can't be mad at James White, man. James White balled out all the way. You know what I mean? And I think he was the spark for their offense, like most of the game. Him and uh, the wide receivers, of course, Amendola and Edelman. The catch Edelman made is gonna be top five of all time. Man, five. yo, when I say that was that was that was the best catch. Yeah. Yeah. It was way so? better. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was in traffic. It was fingertip. It was. It was like no, he he dropped it like a millimeter. Yeah, and yeah. grabbed it up. I was like, oh man, this. I was like, they won a Super Bowl off of that. That's how I knew. I mean, it was an incredible catch. It's very incredible. So I can't take nothing about it. I just want to make sure James White get his props as well. Have three TDs in the Super Bowl. That's balling out your mind. Uh, two receiving, one rushing. And, uh, of course, Tom Brady, the GOAT, man. Um, not my boys, but I got to salute them. They did their thing. But uh, going back to what you were saying um, about not being invited to Tom Brady's party because he probably okay. would invite me and maybe not invite you. I mean, that's what's up. We got to be strong, though, so when shit like that starts happening, you know what I mean? Because then people are going to invite you to shit and not invite me to it. Right. So we gotta, I think we got to have a pact. Okay. We got to have a clause. We got to have an IR union that says if you invite Bishop, you invite Kazi. If you right. invite Kazi, you invite Bishop. All right? We got to stick together. There it is. Okay. That's no, how we're going to do it. We're going to stay together. There we go. All right. No. You're going <laughs> to. Damn, man. I ain't even turn my fucking head back around. You already switch sides. Shit. Because I'm saying, if they invite you some shit, I got to have some shit to hate on, man. I can't be positive the whole time. I got to like, fuck that nigga, Kazi. We're going to be on the show next week. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, but nah, you know, nah. and I probably will slide off to the play. Yeah, yeah, I slide might slide off. off to the Playboy Mansion without you. Yeah, you know what that, I'm saying? That's I might, gonna be fucked up. I might bust that move without you. He you like, yo, hey, yo, bitch. I'm like, yo, what you doing? This. Oh my bad, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. And he gonna be a ride you. too. Like, yeah. like how did he do that shit? Like, we oh, gonna be out somewhere. Bad. He gonna be the ride, and I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? My car messed up. I'm going to call Kazi. I'm like, yo, Kazi, what you doing? Yeah, nah, son, I'm sick. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? See that nigga IG blowing up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he with Warren Buffett and shit, and, making power moves. In, in the Grove. In the, uh, in the, what's that little, that little yeah, Grove? The little the grotto. grotto. I'm in the Grotto. grotto. <laughs> but hey, man, it's all love. That's oh, yeah. Uh, stick together now. Yeah. Megan oh. said, yo, uh, Charles, what is that? Charles Haley? Has five Super, Super Bowls. Bowls. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we already knew that. We knew that. Yeah, that no, but he I played for Dallas Cowboys, so it really don't count either. I don't like that. I ain't either. mad at that. But back to an asshole. Yeah, yeah also an asshole. Yeah. Hey, He's you gotta have a little asshole in you to, to succeed in this in this here United States, buddy. I tell you what, now I, I ain't gonna episode. say your whole lot, or that gotta be your predominant personality. But the asshole within you. It worked for Trump. It's got to come out at some point to get some business done. You know what I mean? Because you gotta try to take shows. advantage. Otherwise, people are gonna take advantage of your situation, right? So. This is what we were talking about before. You not being invited to Tom Brady's Brady. house. Me being invited to Tom Brady's house. Which inevitably makes me be cool with Giselle. So then Giselle's cool with me. So then she invited me to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. So now I'm front row Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Now, oh, Kaz is here. We want Kaz to host the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show for Christmas. And they ain't even holler at Guess what? But what I'm saying is this right but here. No, we ain't going to let that but, happen. No, no, that's not. That can happen. That can happen. Because mm -hmm. guess what? This is what's happening. Is as that, that, that goes down. Mm -hmm. That means that I get a team of goons. You know what I'm saying? I get a team of goons. Right. See, listen. While you're doing that right there, I get a team of goons. Right. We go up to CBS. You know what I'm saying? Bam. We rocking whole nother new two and a half men because I done brought the goons with me. They scared all the CEOs of CBS or whatever. Mm -hmm. Boom. It's going to be me and Noriega. You know what I'm saying? And Jerome Bennis. Okay. We going to all have our... Because we all look alike. And Seth Rogen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all my lookalikes. All my lookalikes. We're going to have our own fucking TV show on CBS. Guess what's going to be the biggest fucking TV show ever? Bigger than the Cosby's. And then, you know what I'm going to do? Hmm. I ain't even going to hide my shit. I'm going to be salt baying and everybody drink. Just like <laughs> the sprinkling that it's sprinkling and all. I'm like, that's that. how it's going to go. Okay. Well, but I think your story's a lot better than mine. Though. Well, that's cool, though. We'll, we'll Victoria's hey, man, put it out in the universe, man. Yeah, it's going to happen. You know, They're going to get you hooked on drugs, though. Then I'm going to have to get you back. And you're going to be like, yo, Bishop, I still got it. Hey, man, this America, the rise, like it up. The rise, and the, <laughs> look, the rise, fall, and then the rehabilitation is the American story. Yes, just it's Google enough drugs. Story. That's what people yeah. need to realize. As being a rock star and if you do music and stuff like that, just do enough drugs to be creative. 
Right. Because if you ever know it's like, yo, you do too much drugs, you, your shit fall off. Yeah. And then you got to get off the drugs and be creative again. <laughs> well, yeah. So I, I don't know. If I'm, I'm too old for drug abuse at this point. You shit, know, we're never too old for drug abuse. You know, Ganja, me and Ganja get along just fine. Don't, we don't, don't stick with that. You we know don't do I mean? ages in here, man. Yeah, no, not, not at all. I'm just you saying. You want to get hooked on drugs? Listen, no. Hard if you want to get hooked on drugs? Kaji can get hooked on drugs. You're never too old to get hooked on drugs. And that's from Intelligently Ratchet. Don't let nobody say you can't do something. Anybody that supports our GoFundMe, I promise that none of this money will go towards Bishop's drug or prostitution habits. I, I, I promise you. I'm cute. None of, none of them you at all. I promise. <laughs> none of that will go towards his shit, all right? So all of it will be... Will be maintained and, and properly used. It's really so, going to like real beer oil and getting and scalp greasing. But this, yeah, what's up, Kamadi, Keon, Corey? This is the thing out there. So the Patriots win the Super Bowl. Yes. So in in response to that, going to the White House uh-huh. is a tradition. Uh, you know, the Super Bowl champions are invited to the White House. Martellus Bennett, the uh, the tight end for the Patriots, and uh, he's Devin, a grown ass man. Let's talk. And about Devin, yeah, he had a great game. And Devin McCourty said, "We're not going." Right. How we feel about that? I feel good because the way Devin put it out there, he was like, um, I feel as though that you're not know saying with the, the, the prejudices of the, the, the person that's in an administration, I don't feel welcome to the White House. He doesn't feel welcome. So, you know what I mean? Uh, also, uh, fucking Tom Brady didn't go to the, to the that's one. That's what with, I found uh, out today with, that he with, didn't with know Obama. when Obama was in there. So it's like this. Like, so if a man doesn't feel welcome or whatever, then that's, that's what it is. If Tom Brady had... Like Tom Brady has something else to do more important than go see the president uh, after the Super Bowl. Nobody misses that shit. That's that's that new president, so fuck it. You know what I mean? Sex with Giselle. It's a little more important. You're right. Yeah, You're right. You're right, but Steven. For him to be a Trump supporter now makes me give it look at it a whole different way. I was like, oh, why didn't you come come when Obama was here again? Cause like, I don't know, like Tobe is going, is going off on time. The, the Patriots go, <laughs> yeah, because if the Patriots you go to the White House to get their Super Bowl rings, and you're like, nah, I'm good. Then what are you saying? What the fuck you not going? You know what I mean? And I think Martellus and him, it's a form of protest. Mm-hmm. So whatever, what was Tom, whatever Tom Brady was protesting, jur- the journalism world didn't harp on, right? You know what I'm saying? That conversation, obviously, that that narrative didn't didn't happen in media about why Tom Brady didn't go to the White House. Right? It wasn't a thing. So, uh, now Tom Brady was opposed, wasn't, wasn't protesting. He was I, like, yo, I have white privilege and I'm not going. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what he said. Well, so I support Martellus and, and, and McCordy's black privilege to say I'm not going either. No, no, I'm saying I support. No, what I'm saying is this right here. As a grown ass man, right. you know what I'm saying? You make decisions on what you want to do. Yeah, it's traditional and whatever. You know what I'm saying? You don't fuck with the president because you're not comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not comfortable with this this guy's views. Right. Just like just like Tom Brady might not have been totally comfortable with the views of Barack, which is fine. Doesn't make you racist. He just doesn't. You know, he just doesn't. I don't fuck with the president. So Brady can do it. Right. Hey, the world the world didn't end when Brady didn't go see Barack. You know what I'm saying? Just like the world is not going to end when Bennett and, and old boy don't don't go see. Uh, what's him? It's not like we can't we can't be making statements about. It's not a statement about everything. It's like the fucking. I don't agree with this motherfucker, so I'm not gonna be in the white. So you saying it doesn't make Tom Brady like a racist because he didn't go? In I don't, yo, right? Tom Brady. As far as you, 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 you what I'm saying this is right. As far I'm not calling him. I'm just no, saying, I'm saying it, it makes it makes it makes it makes Tom Brady look like a super super Republican. Okay, that's what it look. That's what it makes him look like. Okay, like you know a saying? diehard, like, like a, a diehard. You know what I'm saying? Republican. So he was making his statement when he didn't go. Right, he made his and, little and statement. He has his right to. Do he got his right to do that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Sex so, man alive. You know, so, so you gotta forgive him. So Martellus and McCordy got that right to do the same thing. Exactly. And I just respect that and say, you know, I know a lot of people, obviously, that was out here protesting every day, continuously uh, right. <clears throat> feel the same way as him. So, uh, but what, what happens if Tom Brady doesn't go to this motherfucker? You say what now? What if Tom Brady doesn't go ahead? You Tom know, Brady's going. going. He's, he's going fucking on. going. He had a, there, yeah, he had a Make America Great Again hat in his locker. He wears to the fucking uh, locker. Oh, well, I'm saying maybe maybe it's good. he got paper though. Him, Trump, and Robert Kraft like went out to dinner. Like, yeah, yeah. yo, shout out to, to the um to the vice president though. Um, with, with, his, with his chest all out. Did y'all see? Y'all done see that picture? Mike Pence. Mike Pence was out here looking um really uh zesty. 
Nah. <laughs> looking zesty. Was he? Mike Pence was looking Where's zesty. Where is that? I didn't know. Uh, I didn't see that. Yeah, we got, he, uh, yo, producer, hey, can, hey, we get, <laughs> can we get a link of uh, Mike Pence looking zesty? Hey, yo, Mike Pence was looking Just zesty. Just put that in the Google go, search. Go on, my, go on my page right now. You can get some of my timeline. Mike Pence looking rather zesty. Uh, yeah, uh, right, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. come on through. So um, while, yeah, yeah. So while, you know, while the producer pulls up the picture of Mike Pence looking zesty, zesty apparently. Zesty Pence. Chest on baby oil. <laughs> like, um, no, no, he had to hit one. I said, no, he, no. no, it was worse than that, B. Really? Shout, shout out to what Mike Pence was hitting the gym. He had the, the whole, you know, like the Jamaican um, uh, white beater, the yeah. see-through, the oh, Jamaican like the white fish beater. Net joint? The fish net joint? Rainbowed out. <laughs> Rainbowed out. <laughs> looking zesty. <laughs> Please get us a picture of that. <laughs> Anybody got a picture of that? Just post it in the timeline right now. Get I some zesty pants. I, I, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. We're on um, the GoFundMe, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. and speaking of the GoFundMe, I want to shout out our... Uh, hey, Molly, what's going on? I see you out there. Thanks for watching. Um... We're going to t- shout out the new OG Ratcheteers. These are people that have gave uh, $10 or more yes! to the GoFundMe already, all right? So Thank y'all. these are our first uh, OG Ratcheteers. If you give uh, $10 or more to Intelligently Ratchet, um, you will be put into the OG Ratcheteer category. And we're we, we always going to keep it very exclusive and VIP for you in the situations we have moving forward, all right? So uh, Empress Journey. What up, uh, Empress? You know what I'm saying? Jeff Brooks. Jeff Brooks and K- yeah, and Casey Lee are all uh, OG Ratcheteers right now. And um, Justin didn't Justin give us yeah, well? Justin, Justin, Justin gave, gave on here. Justin Thornton gave Jeff as well. Gave gave us. Uh, yeah. he's a old, he's a triple OG Ratcheteer. Yeah, so he threw us fifty bucks like here. Like yeah. that was awesome. Shout so, out Justin. So shout shouts out to all of y'all. Thank y'all for giving and um, continue to su- support and tell. There it is. Yeah, please. That, yeah. That's the oh, zest. Okay, yeah, we're gonna show them. Yeah. Gonna go show the zest. So. Uh, yeah, we'll post the GoFundMe in the timeline, but please continue to support the show, all right? Where do you find that? Who is this? That's, That's Mike Pence? Yeah. <laughs> that was when he was younger. He was back when he was younger. So, yo. Yo, hold on, hold on. Show, Check show. this out. This is, I'm about to show y'all a picture of Mike Pence. When is this from? Do we have any, any, any idea? Okay. But this is from you. Yeah, like, no, 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 look, no. I'm going to show it. Show it. Can this y'all see is, that? This is Mike Pence. Zest. Nah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this, is short. this is Mike Pence. Can y'all see yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> can he? Like, Yo, shout out to Mike Pence with the low rider jeans on, yo. <laughs> so... Wow, thank you, Nerd. Oh, man. Oh, correspondent Nervous Wreck <laughs> just gave me that picture right there. Oh, man. Live correspondent Nervous Wreck. <laughs> yeah. Look. Look at that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. So, for those of you who think that I'm bullshitting, you know, this, just so you know, it's really Mike Pence. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to play you. It's really Mike, Mike Pence. Pence, okay? So, that... That picture demands explanation. We need the zest. I need answers. What happened to the zest, Mike? And intelligently ratchet playing. I need answers for that. I, uh, I, I don't. I, I. You know what I mean? I mean, everybody has those times in their life where you know. I don't know. Where they trying to find out who they are. Or, you know, and t- <laughs> they're searching for their identity. You know, the ones that are always like super anti-gay. Yeah. yeah. You know super what? zesty. Intelligently ratchet nerve brings up a good point. This is a conversation I have with people. It's always the diehards that are going so hard in one direction that got that's so undercover of you know uh, straight up participating in the yep. issue, right? Uh, the the gay senator that wanted to ban gay marriage and he got a gay boyfriend, mm-hmm. right? Uh, the Strom Thurmond trying to ban integration of schools and he got a black daughter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. It's always something like that underlying, you know what I mean, that, that goes on. And so to see a picture of him like that just makes me go, hmm? 
Hmm. Shout what's really this. going on? What's undercover? What's really going on? Well, hold what's on, really hold on. It might, it might, it might be going so hard. How, conserv- right how conservative are you really? Can I, can I say this? Can I say this right here? Yeah. Maybe, maybe Mike Pence was, was a proud gay man. Maybe he was a proud okay, gay man. Okay, so you can... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Because I'm, I'm going to flip it on you. He was a proud gay man. He got in a bad gay relationship and it turned him straight and then he just was all the way... Just like how... You know how someone with our, with our, with our nice lesbian girlfriends that got like three kids? Yeah. <laughs> like, right. Okay, it's like that. It's like that! <laughs> it might have been like that. <laughs> all right, no doubt. We'll, we'll give the benefit of the doubt in that You're situation, right? right? But uh, this is the thing here, yo. We're going we're gonna to keep our eye on that and see how that develops and unfolds. I hadn't seen that footage. That's shocking news. Was that shocking news? That was shocking. Break- Damn. That breaking, was breaking news. Breaking news. Thank you, Nerve. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Nerve brought that straight from the phone. So, yo, um, I want to shout, remind everybody the Moral Monday March is this Saturday, yes. February 11th, uh, downtown Raleigh. <clears throat> I'm gonna post the link to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Reverend Barber, uh, North Carolina NAACP, leading the moral march uh, for equality, non discriminatory laws, um, LGBT rights, uh, voter laws, uh, redistricting of the voting districts that they're going for. They uh, took away the body cameras this year, tried to strip Governor, McCru- uh, Governor uh, Cooper of his power on, before he even got in his position. That got overturned today, actually. Yep. Um, so, you know, that's a, a HB2 is still in place. H, they didn't get rid of HB2. Oh, no. They, they did to the, to the, uh, the NCAA tournament. Yeah, NCAA's talking about removing it, the next six years, years of games, not just this year's games. We already lost ACC tournament. It's 2022. Yeah, so it continues to be a detriment to just like a way of life, commerce, for the, just the way we conduct business in the state and people's lives. You know, before that even, you know what I mean? The way right. people live in their lives here and how they feel the state regards their gender and their identity, right? They look at them as like, you're not really welcome here. But <clears> yeah, <throat> you out here letting Mike Pence run around here with a, with with, a white beater. With white shorts on. Shorts on. And, and, yeah, in a thong and some boy shorts. Yo, and I think it was, so, at, I think it was at a male strip club too. Like, can we... So, was that was that the most? I, I, I don't know. It looked like it looked like a roster of stripper motherfuckers right, on the wall. Back. It really did. It looked like, like a chip and nail situation. It looked like a roster. Yeah, um, it took like the whole roster. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mandy, they took the body cams. Yeah, October first, yep. uh, Mandy, the body cams went out of effect. Right. So when Keith Lamont Scott got murdered in Charlotte, um, that's that was the big delay. Right. Everybody was like, well, "Show us the tape. Show us the tape." So, you know, the city stalled that out for another two to three weeks. The body cam law went into effect October 1st. The only way you can get body cam footage now in the state of North Carolina is by request of a grand jury. Okay, you have to do send in a uh, make a request to a grand jury. You have to be the per- and only if you're the person that was videotaped. So I don't know how that works if you're dead or if you end up incapacitated. How that works with the footage is released, but then the grant it's up to the judge to then decide if he deems it fit. For you to be able to see the footage at that time. So that's the law in North Carolina now. So no more of that us being able to see what the cops do on their body cam on the evening news in North Carolina. That, yeah. that they took that law went in effect in October. So uh yeah, that these are some of the things that we that the march is going uh that are, that's going on. That's what we're marching about. Right. We're on March, February eleventh. Um, like I said, we're gonna post a link for that. It's downtown Raleigh. Uh lineup's gonna start about like eight thirty. All right. so Shout out to OH too, man. Mm-hmm. OH Spade he just popped in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yo, man. Should be lit. That is crazy. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, what we wanna what we wanna talk about? Let, let's talk about this, yo. Let me talk about this real quick, yo. Right, you know what we should do since What's we up? since it's already on sports or whatever. Uh, Charles Oakley, you saw that? Nah, we didn't see anything with Charles Oakley. Charles Oakley just got escorted and arrested out to the stadium. What? Oh, 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 oh yeah, okay, cool. cool. Just now? Just now? Yeah, what do you do? Oh, ain't no telling. Breaking news! Breaking news! Ain't no telling what Oakley did. Ain't no telling what Oakley did. But yo, he was, he was mad. Though. Yeah, he was mad. <laughs> ain't no. Somebody probably was talking some shit though. <laughs> right. That's the problem with the one. Uh, like it's up right now. If you out there in intelligently ratchet land, if you live in Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, oh, they escorting them out like that. 
Oh, he's cussing out somebody. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, he went okay. cuss. Oh, wow. So, yeah, Oakley's, Oakley's cussing somebody out. Like, uh, <laughs> wow, why? He put the, yeah, he put the finger in your boy's hand like. Yeah. Oh, no, they get ready to fight. Wow. Um, if you out there in Chapel, if you don't, if you don't know about uh, what went on in the Raleigh Durham area this uh, past weekend, um, Friday the Chapel Hill water yeah, was deemed um, unsafe, unfit. Don't they said it was it was deemed don't drink it. Michigan like they said don't drink it. They said don't don't uh, wash your hands in it. Don't don't use it. Don't flush the toilets. Don't do nothing with the water. Shit in the water shit. in Chapel Hill. Don't shit in the water. Uh, I got you know I work in Chapel Hill. We got the call or email around like two o'clock. I know it came way earlier than that that day, but it was brought to my attention like you know somebody called in and was like, "Are y'all shutting down?" I was like, "What are we shutting down for?" And he was like, "You haven't heard. Uh, the town says you can't use the water." Mm. And I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Yeah, immediately like do, don't don't, don't use, the water. use it like." Period. Don't drink it. Don't do nothing. And uh, you know, so immediately we went to dumping out stuff and cutting. You know, telling everybody you can't use the water. But then the state law in North Carolina state board is you can't um, operate a business, a restaurant, a facility, like a uh, business without having the bathrooms, running water, things right. like that. So it caused all the restaurants, uh, hotels, <clears throat> majority of businesses. Uh, the the University of North Carolina, yep. all the public schools, everything closed down in Chapel Hill Friday around like one thirty two o'clock, um, and and the order was sent out that to not drink any of the water at all. You know what I mean? So, so pretty much they got um, Flint, Michigan. So the and the thing about it was that um, two or three two or three days before the pipe busted, it was a water main break, right? Mm -hmm. Because. Uh, Apparently, Owasa, which is Orange County Water, is the Orange County Water uh, Service, you know what I mean? And it services residents in Chapel Hill and Carborough and Orange County, um, parts of Hillsborough as well, um, put too much fluoride in the water. They over, they put too much fluoride in the water. Mind the control juice. They put too much mind they control juice. Yeah. Well, they couldn't use it, right? Mm -hmm. So they needed to borrow some water from Durham because Chapel Hill's reserve water was low. You know, Durham still got that water on. We got that sweet water on deck, bitch. Yeah, and it was. Uh, it said that uh, there was an incident at the Jones Ferry Road water treatment plant that resulted in an accidental overflow of fluoride during the water treatment process. Okay, so when they went to borrow. The water from Durham, mm -hmm. the water main broke, and 1.5 to 2 million gallons of water spilled out. So all the water Chapel Hill had already had fluoride in it. Right. They didn't have any backup, and then the pipe that was giving them the extra spilled out 2 million gallons. So yeah, they were they were borrowing the water from Durham, and uh, and it was like so, it was like I, it was like just like extra bath water too. They was like yo. I'm well, not using that. Well, it's like, I, yeah, you can fuck with it. Yeah, yeah but uh, that's the thing though, because <laughs> it 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 was out there like it was contaminated. Right, like that was the vibe. It was like zombie apocalypse was Joan jump off in Chapel Hill. Yeah. if you drank the water because it had somehow blended and mixed with the uh, fluoride with the with the sewage. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and with the septic. You oh, know what I mean, or, or yeah, exactly water treatment of it that it had mixed with shit somehow. Right. Knee deep in it, you know what I mean, or somehow, but. I, th these are all hearsay, you know what I mean? But they said that t to test it and know that it would be okay would take 24 to 48 hours. But they came back on Saturday and said it was okay to drink. Now, Chapel Hill, Carolina moved their basketball game because of it. They moved their home game to Greensboro and played in Greensboro because of it and everything. Mm. So the question is, you know, for them to come back on Saturday or, you know, and say, hey, it's okay. I feel like the businesses, they were losing too much money. Oh, no. You know what they did? They got that shit fixed. Nah. You think it's... But this is what they said. He said the <laughs> tested to even know if it was safe would take 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and then the next... That was Friday. That was he said Friday. that. Oh, Saturday, oh. Saturday night, they're like, nah, the water's good. You're good. It's, it's good. Oh, because they had that little bit of Durham. They mixed that with that Durham water, knocked well, down the levels. Well, the, and, and, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like, do do y'all ratcheteers, people that do you feel like, do you drink the Chapel Hill water now? No. Do you drink it now? They said 24 to 48 hours, even though it was safe, and then sat, turned around and said, Saturday, now nah, go ahead and drink it. 
And I, you know, because uh, I feel like can I know, say this? Can I say this right here? Businesses can't stand to be closed that long. But but I'm saying this is right here. It is Chapel Hill. Are they even really drinking tap water in Chapel Hill? <laughs> Aren't we all just bathing in Fiji water in Chapel Hill? Aren't I mean, we all? I think that's a very, like, uh, a preposterous claim, Bishop. Hi, I beg your well, pardon. Well, I beg your pardon, sir. We do, it's not, it's not, or, or we y'all, do y'all, nothing of the sort. Y'all, y'all just like, you know what? Fiji I'm gonna water is so I'm gonna, beneath us. I'm going to wash my hair in smart water today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> You stupid. Nah, Dear exactly. Buck is for the ducks. <laughs> no. I, I mean, I think in general, like, for it to be like you can't use the bathroom even. But they said that it was more of a water conservation thing. That that's why you couldn't use it. They didn't want you to use it because they were running so low. Because the hospital stayed open. You know, the hospital stayed on. Right. And uh, things like that. But that it came down to how many gallons that they had left. And they didn't want to uh, to run out. So... That's the word. But do you, if you in the area, do you drink it? Do you drink it? I don't trust Let me know, Ratchet. Do you you drink it? Two two story. You know what I'm saying? At this point. I mean, if you boil it, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But they said, they said, said don't even boil it. They said boiling it will have no, would not, even during the crisis, they were like boiling it and using it. This will not fix this water. (laughs) <laughs> Man, what was in the Owasa, water? Owasa sent that out as a message. Boiling in it will not fix it. Wow, that's a first. That is a first. When boiling don't kill it. Boiling yeah, I, boiling kill everything. I work out there. I ain't drinking it yet. We've been drinking. We got a Diamond Springs delivery guy. I've been drinking out the Diamond Springs out the water. You know, the water yeah. cooler. Hold on, what and, I'm saying is right. Water. You think you think that's from Diamond Springs? And so, nigga, it was right there with a water hose outside. <laughs> <laughs> he just he ran that shit so it was it. once. Put some tap in it. Put some Because this is my thing, right? This is my thing. Um, even if somebody tells you, nah, it's okay, go ahead. The side effects you're not going to know until later on, right. a month from now, a year from now, when they're like everybody that drunk water during the crisis in Chapel Hill. If you drank water in Chapel Hill Got a pucker liver now. this month to this month, right. yeah, you were suffering from... Itchy nipple I, syndrome. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, right. Like, ah, ah, my, nipple, my nipples are so itchy. <laughs> that's, that's the side effect. Or you will get exactly... If, Itching nipple syndrome itchy is the side effect of the Chapel Hill get water that crisis. Mic, get that mic pants up in you. <laughs> <laughs> that greasy dome. That greasy. <laughs> that grease dome. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Yo, if you out there, I'm just saying, stay woke. Yo, what's that? That new meme that's out there? Yo, yo, that's the thing. You got to stay woke. <laughs> if you don't drink the water, you can't get the contamination. That laugh is so funny. Oh, shit. I, lo- I love she's got a wonderful head on her. She's got a wonderful head She's very smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, it's E. Good job. And then that nigga was never coming back. Yeah. Um, oh no, Molly said that there was a, a water issue in Hillsborough. Well, Hillsborough, today. Hillsborough. Yeah, that's Hillsborough. what I was saying. Yeah. It's all the same system, mm-hmm. and that's what I was saying. I feel like there was a rush to get back to business in Chapel Hill because the entire city was was closed down, kind of in a business sense. Right. And you, the money that they were losing, I'm sure, was going into millions of dollars for the city a day. Oh, just one so, day. No shit. So I, I, I feel like. I'm drinking bottled water. I'm drinking like, like, b- bottled spring shit until like for months. I'm not even gonna try it. Right. I'm don't get yo. Like it. I'm saying, like for real, hey, Chapel Hill. Well, Carbro don't have to worry about it because they funky anyway. Shout Carbro. out to E. Yeah. I said that. that uh, I said that tomorrow. What? <laughs> yo, I love the hill. I love y'all, Chapel Hill. We gonna get. We gonna get through this. But you know, I tell you what, it does. I, and I saw this tweet a lot. That uh, that um, oh, okay. if this is what it's like to be in Flint, Michigan, you know, if this is what their situation is like on a daily basis, that how terrible it is, it just kind of made it hit home for I think a lot of people. Mm-hmm. That was only y'all. Y'all only had to deal with a week, and they've been dealing with that for months. And, it's, and right. don't and, and please do not believe that Flint, Michigan, that shit is not. It's still not going away. It's not going. It's they were still fucked up. It's still khaki colored than the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So. Y'all, please, if y'all can send water up, you know what I'm saying, to Flint, Michigan, please keep yeah, doing that, man. Drinking them Doritos. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I want to, um, 
Don't get that on camera. They ain't paying us yet. We're going to. Uh, yeah, that's real. We're definitely gonna like find a way to like. I'm gonna find a link to, to send some money if anybody wants to donate or support Flint, Michigan. Um, we gonna do that because, like I said, I seen what like two days of just not having water in the hill did. I can't imagine every day your water brown where you live. You know what I'm saying? Like every day your water brown where you live. That's crazy in the city. Just like, but we talking about spending twelve billion, no, twenty five billion dollars to build a wall. To build a fucking wall when y'all can fix. Fit, yo, water. this is what you do. Take take a billion. Take a billion. Go and fix the pipes in front, please. Do do right, do something right with damn lives or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't build a wall, but won't motherfucking build homes or refurbish homes for the homeless. I ain't popping. Ain't no money in that. Ain't no, it is money in it. Yo, Trump yeah. made an announcement and said he was mm -hmm. fixing flint and donating money. Would y'all fuck with him then? I would. This is what I. You know what? Nope. That would be one thing that I would be like. That's a step in the right direction. Right. Cause I'm not gonna knock somebody's works. Right. I prefer they works over his word. Mm -hmm. So if he was actually gonna put some money up um, for something like that, I'd be like, okay, Trump, cool. Put your money where your mouth is at. That's the only way to show and prove to me. Legalize weed. Make it non drop. Nick, the, well, to, Obama was gonna do that shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. I so think, with, he do he you, got an agenda. So you but he won't that. because then you you unlock in the key for millions of nonviolent drug offenders. Yeah. And, and, and and private prisons and, and his agenda go hand in hand, right. I feel. So it's like, you know, there's steps he could take, you know what I mean? Other than sicking the feds on Chicago, there's steps he could take. I feel like there would be an act of good faith towards like, nah, you really um, have the best interest, interest or you uh, extending the olive, olive branch to black America. Because right now, I distrust for you has an all-time high. Most Americans, not even saying black mm -hmm. Americans, most Americans, I feel like even most people that voted for him at this point are second-guessing themselves. Like, because in this past week, I know week nervous, have, nervous, are you, are you second-guessing your vote for Trump now? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's trying, he's trying to play nerve. <laughs> Not all white people vote. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, damn. Nervous you white? Oh, damn it. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I knew Steve was. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, uh... He had because he didn't want to be on camera, Tobe. He didn't want to be on camera. He got warrants. The UK had a meeting to, 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 to actually have a conversation about should Donald Trump be banned from coming to, the, to England. Right? New president. He had a conversation with uh, the Australian prime minister where he ended up hanging up on him. Because he held him accountable about his Muslim ban and he hung up on him. Mm. He had a conversation with the Prime Minister of Mexico and uh, the, well, the, excuse me, the President of Mexico mm. and was telling about him making him pay for the wall when the President of Mexico said he wouldn't pay for the wall. He hung up on him. No, Donald Trump said, don't make me send troops to the board. Yeah. China got on... We the second day he was in office, they went up in there and um, <clears throat> started looking at the situations who we have problems with. So then his secretary of state comes on and says that Iran, Iran should be on alert. They should be on alert right now. They're on notice. They should be put on notice. That, Wasn't they firing missiles in the air and shit though? Yeah, they because they shot one off, and that's when we were like, we putting y'all on notice. But I'm saying, and then China went and load got all. Can, can I say that? Everybody, I just say yeah, this. If everybody you should have missed them off. You wouldn't have been on notice though. Like you know, what I'm saying it wasn't like they were just chilling. Nigga, you shot a missile. You shot a whole damn missile off. Like, come on now. But everybody's antsy right now. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's a situation where everybody got their hand on their gun in a room full of people, where you didn't escalate the tension. You see what I'm saying? Even and people that we were too. right, people that we were cool. It's like yo, something's gonna pop off. Right, Trump in the building. He wants some shit to pop off. So it's like made the national. You ban a whole group of people. You know, and I've heard the argument. Well, it's only from seven nations, but still, it's like you banning a whole group of people from coming here. Like they say, like yo, people say like it's only seven nations. Oh fuck, those are seven countries. It ain't seven cities, it's countries. It's like, yo, like those are countries. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't you can't not ban a whole country from a country. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, mm, that's stupid. So yo, this is the thing too. That law is still in effect. Uh <clears throat> actually Washington State's Attorney General um 
is appealing it right now is is actually sued you know the government to try to get that law repealed the the travel ban I, li I listened to a little of it yesterday he didn't do such a great job yesterday I'm not gonna lie uh, the, the cat that was up there he just wasn't very persuasive mm -hmm. uh, he wasn't very how can I say he didn't articulate he was articulate he's a, okay. he's a lawyer but I'm just saying it wasn't like I don't know he didn't he didn't persuade me I wasn't like convinced off of his argument it wasn't a very compelling argument I'll just say that it, and Kaz is not a cynical person was it for show no it wasn't for show do, you, do I feel like it was for show I don't I feel like Washington State they just divested all their money from Wells Fargo for even having any participation in the Dakota Access you know like mm -hmm. like the Washington State is woke weeds legal you know um, you know they're real healthy out there with they shit with their environmental laws and everything like that so them actually saying no like the Muslim ban does not work here in Washington State it's very Washington State type of shit you know what I mean but you still gotta prove it because the Supreme Court kinda does side with because in the past presidents have used this decree and they even will argue that Obama has used it um, in the past now, Obama isolates his situation because this is an argument. A lot of people say, well, Obama blocked <clears throat> people from coming the same way. Obama's situation was when they knew there were two people that were coming from Syria that they knew were trying to get through. And so he blocked it off for like six months. You know what I mean? Until they could figure out who it was and, and then identify them. For a reason. Yeah. But seven nations, other than the ones that you have financial interests with, is a different like it, it, it'd have been it'd have been a different it'd been a different situation if he blocked the whole situation if he it's fucked up but you know what I'm saying like when you when you do this right here like when it borders like you he was doing like every other country and shit like that it was like if you see the map of the of the country it's like oh not y'all but y'all like y'all y'all shit these these countries one of these countries that you didn't block shares a border a close border with another country mm -hmm. which 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 got me like man, when I found out the business interests and everything like that like he knew what he was doing you know what mm -hmm. I mean like let me let me show some power but not fuck yeah. up my yeah and the producer corrected me Seattle divested not the whole Washington state so Seattle divested. <clears throat> okay but still like um just to put that out there you know what I mean but um so yo Trump had a conversation with Putin um, last week. It went from I don't know this guy to them having a convo. Um, what they got to know each other? Yeah, well, that was advocate. Is what I'm playing over here. What you think, third? Well, they had a convo, and I just like I said, everybody is on the world's on notice. Everybody's kind of riled up, right? Kinda like on some riled up shit right now. But I'm saying, do do we want? Do, like saying, like, do we want? Because Russia's a motherfucker. Like you know, what I'm saying we've been fighting the Russians since like Rocky Five. Mm hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Four, Rocky Four. Like so we, we've been having a cold war with them. Is it you know what I'm saying? Is it a bad thing that we're having a a discussion? And I can't even say Russia anymore with the, you know what I'm saying because they're not really any. Are they still? Are you saying is it a bad thing that we having a conversation? A conversation with them. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's see. I rather because I, I, they're playing chess and trying mm -hmm. to play chess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the problem. That's the problem. So it happened, happened to our election. Not when you own the chessboard, he's yeah. not gonna lose. Listen. <laughs> They hacked into our election, right? right? Got got into these emails to create a situation where Donald Trump will win. The only reason I would think they would go to that effort is to create an advantage for themselves. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they feel like Trump winning created an advantage for themselves to where they can manipulate some part or some element of him being in office. He's got a lot of money over there. And I know that he does. I know there's an agreement going on with some type of oil that they're working on. Where he might end up with like fifteen percent of it, and it's like a Russian situation. Mm. I, I, I'll do some research on that. I was doing, I was, I was digging, and I ran into that. Um, Trump vodka. You know what I'm saying? But Trump got vodka. You should. Sure. Sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Trump. <clears throat> but yeah, but the thing about the conversation is that the White House turned off the recording. Of what up, D? Okay. The the White House turned off the recording equipment during oh, the conversation. Oh, come on, White House. So there was only one sentence read out of the call's entire transcript, and the Kremlin said that it was like a ten page, a ten paragraph summary of the conversation that they had. But the White House only gave out one sentence of the conversation. Oh, so that means the Kremlin's going to drop that. Going to drop that. So we don't even know what they talked about. 
But that's not his homie though. Let me find out. Let me find out. Russia is about to do. Is about to do the 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 ver their version of the screenshot conversation. <laughs> I mean, like yo, Russia is about <laughs> Russia is about to hit him with the screenshot. Like ear, <laughs> right? That's gonna be horrible. Oh man! Like come on! Like when does the record equipment? Like y'all, y'all, yo, yeah, they doing stuff like like this the fifties. Like you could have did that back in the fifties when everybody was gun hole America. But like yo, you can't do this shit now. You can't, well, motherfuckers. Right. They doing it though, right? That's what I'm saying. Like you don't be but people smart enough to be like, uh, and well, everybody saying shit we can do about it. And they got Trump to right. do it. Yeah, his, right. His this regime is very much like I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do anyway. Who gonna stop me? Who gonna stop me? He got the House. He got the Senate. He putting these bum ass people in there that are getting nominated because he's going to get the votes. My, uh, Mike Pence just made history. He, he was a vice president. He, uh, his last candidate, the boss, wasn't going to get in, and he voted for it as a vice president. Pushed the votes over the top, got her nominated. Mm. So like, uh, sure. you know, I've been seeing a lot of uh, protests to that. All the kids, high school kids in New York City, walked out of class uh, yesterday. Nice. Um, it's, it's crazy, you know. It's been a lot going on. And, but and, yo, and shout out to solidarity, man. That's yeah. one thing that's going on. That's one thing that we can say. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot. Of, it's a whole bunch of yo people. The people themselves are starting to are starting to to come together, which is which is eye opening when you see the type of solidarity. Like you couldn't get me. Like I don't think we could have did that. You know what I'm saying? But like yo, okay. Let's say everybody walk out of class. It'd be like one person be like, no, nah, I'm going to stay here and get my grades. Like, word up. <laughs> like, you know, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. Gonna, my yeah. mom will be mad. I'm gonna be, my mom is going to be mad. Like, yo, like, you can't, they can't get us all. <laughs> they can't suspend yeah. us all. Whoever had perfect attendance ain't leaving. They ain't leaving. Like, mm-hmm. like it was one, it was a couple kids in there. It was like, you know what? Fuck these A's. Yo, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, fuck my perfect attendance. I'm out. I'm, I'm fed up. But if you're the half am teacher, you like do what you gotta do. Do my what you gotta do. <laughs> There's a time in everyone's life where you gotta stand up for what's right. Y'all skip class. You Word know? up. Did the, did the, but they didn't let the kids from the research room get out too. I don't know. Cause that could be dangerous in the streets. Out of the what? <laughs> out of the research room. No research room. <laughs> resource room. Oh, the resource room. Are you talking about? The, oh man, you talking about the UC tripping? <laughs> <laughs> You ah, oh shit! I don't know. Uh, I'm not going there. But you know what's on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, the views of Bishop Omega. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Bet y'all together. Short bus like, gangsters. You see short bus gangsters all day. <laughs> when, when, he, when, he, when some of his jokes are hate crimes, <laughs> I let him own those all his own. I can't go down on that ship. Oh shit! Have the whole entire like. You know, the mentally disabled community coming at me. Oh, no, nah, they're not going to come at you. I have to collect that to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> they can't come at you when you want to them, bro. Yeah. So keep an eye on Trump, man. He's just doing, he's up to his old tricks or something new every day. Um, we'll just keep an eye on it here. And shit, Justice said, it. Like, let's talk about, let's talk about Justice Com- hey, Y'all, y'all reading Justice comments? This motherfucker is absolutely yeah. savage. He said they get out 45 minutes before everybody else they all talk about. Yeah. All they was already in the streets. So, uh, yo, shouts out to Lewis T in the North Cat clothing line. I got the Shell Island shirt. He threw me right here. This is Hold love up. right See, here. I got a shirt for you at the crib. That's cool. Because I got I the um, Durham Bears block. Yeah. This is this is made out of soft Egyptian cotton. This is a right. good day. Have you put your shirt on? That's awesome. Yeah, I wore mine the other day. No word. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen them. But uh, Shell Island. Google Shell Island, man. Shell Island was... um. Not, um one of the, like the first like uh, black resorts they had out there in Wilmington. Or it was like a spot out there where everybody used to go to. It was like the Inkwell, and um, yeah, cats burnt that shit down. So yeah, uh, Google that. You know, uh, Louis T made these shirts like uh, shut up, Louis. That uh, Simone, what's up, Keon? I see you out there, but uh, Keon Ratchet hashtag Ratchet Petty. Yeah. So yo, uh, Steve Bannon. Though, like we talked about him some weeks ago, but I want to bring it back so y'all understand. You know what Bannon. I mean? Um, what type of guy this is, you know what I mean? Um, Trump added chief political strategist Steve Bannon, Bannon. to the National Security Council and to the Principals Committee, uh, and that's a small group at the president's top national security officials. Okay? Right. <clears throat> he removed the director of national intelligence 
and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staffs as members who would attend all meetings. Instead, they will be invite only. Former President George Bush stated during the, his time in the White House, the decisions that he made that involve life and death for the people in uniform will not be tainted by any political decisions. And that's usually been the format, like the criteria, criteria but Trump's changing that. He's going to have his chief strategist in there, his right-hand man in there with him. Um, some presidents used to did invite their chief political strategist in certain committee meetings. Never well, before, never before has one been made a permanent member like now. Never had before has a director or national intelligence or the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff been invite only. Hmm. So uh, these moves are unprecedented and, um, you know, to add a political strategist, you know, puts politics in the moves you're making. So, uh, you know, we got a link up here right here, you know, you can read more up on it, you know what I'm saying? But if you know about uh, Steve Bannon and how he used to write at uh, Breitbart, uh, he was the editor there. You'll see some of the uh, kind of background into the bullshit that he is on. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we got the link up, Stop President Bannon, and also the link to, to the story where you can read up about this guy. Because the terms that come up most of the time when you talk about Steve Bannon is white nationalist, supremacist, um, shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and guess so, what? Have you speaking of that shit? Have y'all seen Hate Thy Neighbor? No, I haven't. Oh, uh, hate hate that neighbor on on Viceland. Yo, shout out to Viceland, yo. Yeah, that's where we had it. Man, listen, yo, we gonna be on Viceland on Facebook Live. Fuck around with us. Watch out. They they hate Sousa Marrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. The real niggas is cool. No, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> yep. Y'all got college degrees. You know what I'm saying? We mm-hmm. here with GED programs out of prison. But go. nah, um, <laughs> we're still educated but we hard though at the same time but nah um oh uh, yeah Viceland has this show uh called hate thy neighbor man and they did it they did it on the white nationalist yo and when i say this right here i watched the whole show mm-hmm. and i wanted to be angry like you want to be angry but then you realize how fucking sad these people are like how how fucking like it's it's kind of like this like you know like if an 80 year old lady calls you a color and you be like that is fucking I don't want to hit this lady it's just fucking sad right, because that's all funny. they know you right. know what I'm saying and yo look watch watch hate that neighbor but then to be fair they did white nationalists one episode and then they did the Hebrew Israelites on the next show right man I was like yo that shit right there was like yo these motherfuckers like you think that hate is deep right there you know what I'm saying boy Mm-hmm. That's a different level. And like, like they just decided to greet each other. The white man's devil. When the white man is devil. And they go into their regular joint. Their regular right. fucking was. Oh, man. So hate thy neighbor, man. Realize that racism goes on both parts, man. Like, for real. Like, uh, and it's, it's, it's a comedian or whatever it does it or whatever. So he's actually, he's all, he's mixed, a, a mixed race. So he, he goes, he goes to the white national camp. What they doing? A swastika burning. And then he goes what? to the yeah. It was in Charlotte. He went to the Charlotte when he was doing the protests in Charlotte and shit like well, that. Um, in, in, um, Hebrew is like so check that out. Well, we talked about that KKK show that was coming out, but that yeah, got canceled. That got canceled. But yeah. this this is like what this is is like. It's called Hate Thy Neighbor. It's about people that just don't fucking like a uh, certain other group of people and everything like that. But yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Like watch it, man. You you like this? Like if you were a little racist, you like you know what? Maybe I'm really not that. I'm not that much. I'm not that bad. I'm not, I'm not that bad. I don't like Chinese people, but I'm not. I don't want them to. I don't want their babies to die. Like, <laughs> like that's some crazy shit like that. You watch that shit. Also watch Bon Appetit. Bon, yeah, that's that's. Uh, yeah, we we put I put Kazi on that shit. Yo, Kazi photos on the TV. Show. I love that show. That's uh, Action Bronson. No, nah, that's that's, that's fucking delicious. Oh, fuck, that's the, delicious. That's fuck, that's delicious. Uh, I like that. I like fuck, that's delicious. And then there, what's the weed show? The weed show is Bong bon Appetit. Bong Appetit. That's so they open up, got a cabinet or whatever full of flowers and mm-hmm. stuff. So and I was talking to Kazi about it in his crib after we did the same show. And so he was like, I'm just going to turn to her. He turned to her right when the lady's about to open up the cabinet. Mm-hmm. And when I say all conversation stops from this thing, yo, he was like this. Mm-hmm. And then he just floated to his TV like. <laughs> well, it's a dope show. If it's y'all dope. seen it, y'all know what it's about. Yo, it's, it's a dope ass show, man. Check that out, man. Vice Land is my shit, yo. I like Vice Land. 
I like the, I like the level of journalism. Vice Lane go like you know beyond like what you feel like is scripted right. and like you know they get you the the real story. I felt like you know what I mean. Some real angles. So damn! Shout out to the producer on that. She is. Oh yeah, the links are right there. You Look know. at that. Boom, boom. Give her a ring. Just like that. You know what I mean? So That's we why we like her. Yep. Yeah. So yo, <clears throat> what? I don't know if any of you checked out any of this new music that's out. You know what I mean? I just want to talk about it. Um, make sure you check out some. Let's see some of the stuff I'm listening to right now that just came out. Big Sean's new album just came Ooh. out. I decided mm -hmm. last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. I got the moves. You better move. You got to join up there with Eminem. Um, I heard the inverse was in that high on that joint. He's spazzing. Yeah, I listen to it. Yeah, he's spazzing. Time he like okay. He, it, 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 I would say you do got to listen to him more than once because he spazzes at one point where you kind of lose him, but uh -huh. he's, but you know he's killing it. Right. And you can still kind of hear. Him. Yeah. But you just gotta check it out. But he goes in. Oh, so he goes. He, he goes. He, but it's one. Of, but Sean killed the whole album. Man. Killed the whole album. It's a dope album from Big Sean. I think. You know, let me know what y'all feel if y'all listen to that Big Sean. Speaking of new music, um, Vito, yeah. Vito just dropped something in my inbox. It was real dope. Yeah, what well, you dropped? Yeah, man, he dropped, yeah. You know he dropped it in my inbox. I probably got to do a review on it or something like that. Oh, is it the joint we did? Nah, he oh. wasn't on this one. Okay. Nah, he wasn't. No, this was the joint he got the single for, what is it called? Uh, uh, um, Wait for No One or something like that? Or, uh, okay. Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Well, get it together while well, I talk about well, you this. Go, you talk about yourself. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, I got... I can. Yeah. Yeah, so, yo, I got new joints out. Check Kaz out... Kazi got new out. shit. So, yeah, check out my Instagram, my SoundCloud.com slash Kazi Four Letters. I got the joint out with me, Big Remo, and Ease called Crack. I got the joint out that's produced by Irv and uh, Ford Tough. And then the other joint I got out crazy right now. Check that out. There's two of the joints. We leaking up to the Black Kennedy 2 coming out. Appreciate the love and support. Um, so long as Vito. So that's in there in the timeline. Yeah, me and Vito was just in the studio last night. Um, so yeah, check out that album. Check that Big Sean out. Yo, if you fans of uh, R&B, soul pop type jams like that, check Kalani album out, man. Kalani album is crap. You know what I mean? That joint is crazy. Like I've been sleeping on Kalani. Kalani's album is crazy. Um, what's the homie you've been telling me about? I'm talking about uh, uh, Khalid. Khalid. Khalid's in these streets. That that's homie that got the uh, the location the song. Location joint, yeah. Yeah, Khalid is dope. He got a project out. Mm -hmm. um, I was listening to uh, Samfa before I came here. That joint is crazy. It's like a little. It's like a London Stevie Wonder. If I had to like describe it, it's like a young Stevie Wonder from London. You know what I mean? Like that's his vibe, man. His album is crazy. Uh, I was listening to that. Um, what else is out there, man? That I've been. There's a, there's a lot of dudes at this out right now. Them just the ones that just. Can Charlie Wilson drop some? I don't know. I want. I just want Charlie Wilson to drop some shit. You know what I'm saying? I just like. It. I just like Charlie Wilson. There's something. Shoot, we, 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 we. Yeah, there's something I'm forgetting. Though. Somebody just dropped some new shit too, man. Um, yo, get get Hireman Bits uh, powder blunts, man. Yeah, yeah if y'all have is out here. Yo, Hireman Bit powder blunts is, is a dope ass. Like if you if you into that good ass boom bat mm -hmm. Wu Tangish 1997 to 1998. Gritty ass beat, powder blunts is the shit for you, man. Yeah. There we go, Candace. That's what I was trying to remember. Sid from the, Sid internet. From the internet came out. F Finn, Fiend, however you pronounce it. F I N, that's her album. Sid from uh, the group The Internet mm -hmm. that was at Art of Cool last year. Her album just came out. That was the one I was trying to remember. Thank you, Candace, very much. Um, yeah, that's out there as well. Um, Let's see, who else I've seen people out there working on? I heard Bryson Tiller working on something new, so something from him will probably be ready soon. And other than that, you know, there's a rapper dropping every day. Yep. So somebody will be putting something out. <laughs> I'm sure. I might drop an EP just fucking around. Yeah. Man, man I, I look, I went to Drugs. Shout out to Drugs Beats, man. Mm -hmm. Yo, Drugs Beats SoundCloud, man. If you, even if you don't rap or you used to rap, Listen, he got this joint called The Hustler mm -hmm. Beat. 
on SoundCloud. Drugs beats is like drugs is what a dot in, in between every is an acronym. Right. So it's drugs or whatever spelled in the acronym. Mm-hmm. Drugs beats, man. Check out Drugs Beats SoundCloud, man. Yeah. The dude is talented, man. He was on. He's got placement on like Dr. Dre and everything and all that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So y'all know who Drugs is. He's a good guy. Hey, I can't. <clears throat> I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Migos because if you throw on your Apple Music, that's going to be the, what's number one through ten is all Migos songs. So um, Migos culture is out here as well. If you're a Migos fan, um, yeah. I'm slowly, I'm slowly starting out to hate Migos. Migos. I mean, everybody use their style. You might as well like them. I'm, I'm slowly starting out to hate them, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, at least one of them. One of them can spit. I just say uh, Quavo was the Quavo one that most people mm-hmm. identify as uh, the most talented in the group. Yeah, is that the one that stays out of jail? Yeah, that's yeah. Offset's he's the, the one he's that's like the He's like the Jada Kiss of the Migos. Was not Offset's the one that always getting locked up. He had so much prior shit going on, and so you know, and then you start making money, and then all that prior shit catch up to you. Mm-hmm. Seem like right when you get popping. So uh, yeah, but shouts out to the Migos as well, man. Shout out Jeff. Mm-hmm. What are you, what are you yeah, definitely. Yo, I yo, um I'm gonna, just to switch it up, you know what I'm saying? That has this is a great subway for this right here. Okay. I wanna talk about this right here. I just did I did a I read an article or whatever popped up on me because normally I don't read. Mm-hmm. Um but um Stephon Marbury. Uh you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know, Stephon Marbury is a, a point guard, he's played for the New York Knicks. Yeah. He got drafted by the Timberwolves. Uh what do you play? He played ball at Georgia Tech. What what do you play mm-hmm. ball? Yeah, he's yeah, he's at Georgia Tech. Okay, one of the great Georgia Tech point guards. Point guards. He from he from Coney Island. Um, Stephon Marbury has his own shoes out called the Starberries. Y'all made him remember these shits. Hold on, trivia out here while Bishop talking. Mm-hmm. Basketball heads, give me three banging Georgia Tech point guards. Okay, go ahead, continue. Oh, okay, so boom, he got his own sneakers out. Starberries. Starberries. He claims are. Um, just, you know what I mean, he put them out there to make affordable shoes for kids that's in the neighborhood. The, the shoes like $15, mm-hmm. right. $15 basketball shoes. Uh, like the, when they first came out, everything was $15. Um, so he rivaling, um, he trying to go rival, going at Michael Jordan, like yo, Michael Jordan and LeBron James are robbing the hood. Right. Because they're coming up with these expensive ass sneakers, but okay. for the same price, I'm getting my sneakers made. But they're good sneakers. I, mean, I don't know, like that's what I'm saying. Continue on the side, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying, but you know what I mean. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. As far as that, but does it does it make a difference? He's, he's making his in the same company that Michael Jordan is making his. I don't know. The Marburys look kind of bummy to me. What bro. I'm saying is right. That's why. That's why I wanted to get it. <laughs> that's why I wanted to get yeah, it. This shit's kind of had a skippy element to it. Are y'all are y'all rocking Stephon Marbury? Fuck no. Are y'all rocking? I'm saying are y'all rocking the Marbury? Are you rocking what? them lean name D Wade? Yo, are you rocking them lean went lean name? Um, uh, uh, the lean name D Wade is alright though. Fuck that, yo. Them is alright. They better than them. Uh, than the than the Michael Jordan than the Jordan Wade's with the fucking window. The window in the middle of the fucking shoe, yeah, those are like terrible. Those. Yeah, I didn't like those. You like the Lee Ning ways better than I those? like the Lee, the Lee Ning ways is alright. And the the the, the hum, homeboys uh, um, Thompson, Clay Thompson. Thompson got Clay some Thompson got some dope some, some dope Lee Ning. Does he wear? <laughs> Lee Ning's. Let me eat some of Lee Ning's. Fried hard. Fried hard. You know what I'm saying? Stop him ketchup. catch up. He gets some Lee Ning's. That's how you got to say it. That's how you got to say it. You sound like a chainsaw. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's what it is. <laughs> but nah. But I'm saying, is, is that, what is the problem with the Stephon, if you got a problem with the Stephon Marbury, is, is it the design of the shoe? Or is it the cost? Or you know what I'm It's the culture surrounding it. It's the vibe. Does me wearing it make me, I'm just saying, this is how the world works. If Does me wearing it Give me prestige. Does it make me feel confident? Do I feel that people put it on, put a Jordan on, and feel this swag, embody the confidence that come along with the shit? <laughs> well, so I, it's I, like I, if I put a lean name on my foot, lean it's like it's not. I don't know if that it cats in the hood. Well, hold on, hold on. We in the era you just saw kids make a whole culture out of fucking with people about what shoes they got on. What are those? Right, right, right. right. You come on the court with some lean names <laughs> on, motherfuckers are gonna go, what are those? Guess what? What I'm saying is right here, but but there there there's a grown there's a grown people. What I'm and I and I understand that part of it. Right. What I'm gonna say is this right here. But there's also the kids that go out there that have those lean names on, the yin yings or the. <laughs> 
or the Stephon Marbury's, right. then guess what? That nigga's going to roast you in your Jordans. Okay. Because I got these fresh ass, I got 12 pairs of fresh ass, ying yings, and you done had these Jordans, the same Jordans for six months. And your motherfucking, your, I bet you, I bet your bottles <laughs> on Brickwood floors. I'll give you that. I give you that. You got two hundred pair. You got a you got a two hundred pair dollar you know dog sneakers. Cause guess what? Now I got my yin yings to match with every shirt I got. Right. It's all about how fly you can get with. I, I'll give you that. <clears throat> because somewhere in America, there was the first kid that decided I'm gonna start wearing these Hewings. Yep. And I started rocking Patrick. <laughs> I remember wearing them Hewings, and I remember. Dead. I thought this shit was E wings when I first Run. got them shit. Me too. Dead ass. <laughs> I re- and I should you not. them E wings. I remember going to like Dollar General, and they had the U wings up there on the shelf, tied together with a like a plastic tie, dog. Wow. And they were like twenty bucks, and I remember picking them up and being like, "Man, these look banging, but no fucking way would I ever wear them." Fast forward like a, about six months after that, I'm paying a hundred dollars for a, bl- a group blue and gray pair, right? And leaving the ball dangling off of it. Yep. And that's how I see. I think. I think what it is is like this. People, the, the people hood in fashion, makes. So people it, in fashion, it's like this. It's people in fashion, it's like this. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, what I mean, you should go out and you know, what I mean, what you what, what parents, what we need to do as parents and as consumers is this right here. Go get some shit that you think is fine. And that's the reason why I brought this up. Because now, because I, I was like this. Like you said, when he first came out with those fucking strawberries, it was just was trash. Like, I was going to do it. Like, I was going to go. Like, the woman that had the strawberry store by Target. Y'all remember right. that shit back in there? I was going to go get a pair of $15 strawberries. And I was going to like, y'all need some hooper shoes. Boom, I'm going to go in there. But them shits was fucking ugly well, as shit. Like, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, but th- don't get me wrong. Like, because I'm, I'm a sneaker person, right? right. But, like. There's different swags to it, you know what I mean? Because some people like they, they all J's, some people all you know dunks or like you know there was a whole right. thing where I only wore dunks and shit like that. Excuse me. There's a whole different culture to it, whatever. Um, Chuck Taylor's uh, or, or, or Converse or, or you know uh, the Vans or whatever, right. different Vans. where they shit. But there's a whole you know different swag where you can just rock Pumas and. Mm-hmm. And you know, Shell different, toes. yeah, Sarconi, and, and and there's so many there's New Balance. There's just so many different brands that like cats can freak, you know, and make right. your own swag out of. I used to have some Champion boots. I remember back in the day when those were popping. Shout out to Love Boots. Remember Love Boots with the ISO? Y'all remember them shits? Uh, yeah, I remember that. I, was, I didn't have. You got to pay them shits. Then you got to pay lugs right now, don't you? Brother? <laughs> nah. nah. Why well, third? Yo, third. Like I want third on camera because third is looking at me like, yo, he want to fight. I want to fight the fight on this motherfucker. Third. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't care you came in here with nervous. He, he just from right. right. I know, I see it. Like he, yeah, I see how he got relaxed. So the gun can pull out. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. <laughs> no, no. So yo, what I'm saying, yes or no, you know what I mean? Would you like at least you should go out there, but the new ones, the new ones look pretty good. The yep. ones the ones he hooped in in Beijing. <laughs> <laughs> the Beijing, he's in Beijing right now. He's in Beijing. Beijing. He, I remember this story from like years ago. So he's got a new line now. Like? Yeah. What it is? The line went down or whatever because nobody was copping them shits. But he he's bringing them back up now. Some of the shits right now. If you go if you go on the internet right now and pull up the staff the strawberries, some of them shits is terrible. But you know, see, he's got the ones that they hoop in like in a league or whatever. Look kind of good. And with that said, not like forty bucks though. With that said. We going top five. Yinglings! Top five wackest athlete sneakers. Magic Johnson. Woo! Top five, five wackest, wackest athlete, athlete sneakers. sneakers. The, feel free. We're starting now. Feel free. Okay, go ahead. Go, you, go, you go uh, I'll just start the con- contribution. Some people thought these were banging. I was not feeling them at all. Only person I saw that I ever liked them on was Raekwon. Those Matumbos. I fucking hated those. Oh, the Matumbos was high. No, man. I fucking hated those Matumbos. <laughs> Matumbos was good. With the Kente man. cloth on them. With yeah. The but, yo, but, you rock, but you rock, but you rock, but you rock the, but did you rock the Air Raids? Remember when the Air Raids came out, they had Kente cloth on yeah, them Yeah, but the Air Raids were banging though. How, how and, those, and those were the Black History Month Air Raids. So those were especially banging. Those were the ones from like Do the Right Thing. Those were yo, the I like, hard body. I like, like the shit with the spirit too. Those were 40, those were 40 acre and a mule Air Raids. But no, are, are the Matumbos worse than the Chris Webber Silver Datas? 
Those were those were trash. Yeah, remember the, when Chris Webber had the contract yeah, with Data? Those those were trash. <laughs> Somebody said the Master P's, the P oh, Millers. The P Millers. <laughs> oh, terrible! Yeah, yeah, the horrible. P Millers were garbage. The Latrells? Yeah. The first Kobe's, Justin, I would argue, there's a pair of Kobe's that look like a Cadillac. Yeah, the, the ones that look like know, the Ferrari. Yeah, yes. there's a pair of Kobe's. Kobe 2's. Yeah. yeah. Kobe 2's look oh, like a... Man. Look like that. Yeah, 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 look like hey, a bring, 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 show people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The the Kobe twos show. Can we show these? That that's the Kobe. The Kobe twos. twos look like a fucking Buick. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, how did how did you hoop in these Kobe? Like a fucking Buick Skylark. Look at that. Um, oh man, yo, can you can you win? Yeah, he won this like one game. <laughs> those shits <laughs> are true. Nah, those those the, the first. These the new ones. Come no, those are the old. These are the old strawberries. Yeah, strawberries. Yeah, yeah, these are the old Starberries right here. These, these terrible ass looking sneakers. Oh, God. <laughs> oh man, no, those Curries that came out before, and they had to recall them. Oh, you talking about the, the dad, the, the yeah, Steph yeah, Curry the medical, dads? yeah, the medical, <laughs> air medical, the air medics, <laughs> the air medics. Oh, those shit. shits were terrible, man. I, I mean, just not a, just not a good look. The. Carl Malone LA Gears. With the with the with the, with the, uh, the catapult. The catapult. The Carl Malone the LA Gears oh, were not man. popping. I wanted them to be popping that because they had the catapult in they the had air. The catapult in and shit. that was supposed to be cool, but it just wasn't popping, man. Fucking the, um, the Sean Kemp's that looked like they were hypnotizing your ass. No, I hated the hypnosis. Those. I loved them. You loved them? Yeah, the, the, the Shaq Nose, the Shaq Nose, Shaq had, yeah, Shaq, Shaq Nose, Shaq Nose. Uh, um, Sean Kemp had the Kamikazes, which gets you, which you, yeah, see, they, those they were actually kind of dope because they had your name in them. Yeah, but those were actually dope though. <laughs> Dwayne <laughs> Wade, any, yeah, Dwayne Wade Converse is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> J Dub said he tore. Towards the ACL <laughs> and those D Wade's. Hold on, and one had some dope sneakers, Josh. Yo, Josh, yo, and one did have a couple like the the uh the Vince Carter joints with the with the two tone and um the um the Kevin Garnett um and ones was I. Right. Yo, Justin Sam Cassell had a sneaker. I didn't even know Sam Cassell. had Yo, a we sneaker. need to find pull, pull up this. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know Sam Cassell had a sneaker. These were the Magic Johnson. The Magics, so we yo the Magics. Oh, 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 oh wow, oh, they're just two ninety nine though right there. Yeah, they look oh, a little geriatric. Oh man, Magic deserved to have a better sneaker than that. Yeah, he did. Hit the Magic cons now. Now I, these, these were dope to me when Larry and Magic both had their own. That yeah, yeah those, now, those were hard. Hold yeah. on, let me see that. Those are the hardest combo. That's when the Showtime Lakers used to wear those right there. That's when all and then Larry Bird had Magic. the same shoes as different colors. Yeah, Kareem, Magic, yeah. Byron Scott, used to, uh, AC Green Lakers used to wear those and kick ass in them. They still didn't get no business. Yeah, he's well, no, no, because AC, AC Green, but obviously Magic got enough. AC, for the AC got go all. Around. AC Maybe? Green said, "Yo, he yeah. might have it because they have a Jerry Curl." He's in the same for sales because that's what comes up. Oh wow! Oh. oh. <laughs> Hold on. Have you seen them shits like the Bobby Hurley ITZs? Oh, oh, oh. These are the Sam Cassell Sam. sneakers. Oh, somebody, yo, somebody had them joints, yo. yo. Kill yourself, <laughs> yo. If you had these, they look like they were biting off Converse. Oh, yo, the, the, the Dennis Rodman Converses. The Dennis Rodman Converse was bad the Dennis too. Rodman Converse? I had a pair of them shits. Like, if you pull up the Dennis Rodman what Converse, the Rodman Converse. Like, why are these you know, the same colorways? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, you can freak that though. Nah, you, the you can Sam, freak those. The nah. Sam Cassell. Was back when them shits came out, you right? Could, like, yeah, you could freak those at Imagination it's Station. It's Bobby Hurley, right there. That's you could freak these shoes. Oh, oh. the Ooh. Bobby Hurley right. ITZ. Show those. Why they got ki- why they got kente cloth on them? The it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. yo, it's like the Shaq Twism. Yo, you know pull, pull I mean? up, pull up, pull up the Dennis Rodman. All Shaq's, all Shaq's Twism shit was terrible. <laughs> oh man, I Shaq, get Shaq, caught Shaq dead. just did not never never had good shoes after he left Reebok. I would never get caught dead at nothing. Shaq oh Twism. no, anything Shaq Twism. I'm like, yo, send that shit to like some man. to a refugee Go camp. Go home alone. <laughs> and them kids, yeah. like like they do, like they do the Super Bowl shirts. Like, oh, I forgot about these. He got a ninja star on the side. He's Who's just, 
These the Dennis Rodman Converse joints. Those shits are fucking terrible. Uh, Somebody yeah. had a uh, one that had a rim on the side of it. Oh, uh, that was the Spreewells. Yeah, the Spreewells so, yeah, had a yeah. spinning yeah. rim on the joints. Yeah, that's on the, I'm playing basketball. I'm trying to like <laughs> that. Yo, you, that I didn't know if they want to be a car company or not because that I remember that I had the ones with the wood grain on the side of them yeah. shits. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> ruin. Hold on, I'm, I'm, the I'm, fucking wood grain. I'm trying to score in a fucking spinning rim. Right is on the side of my yo. Shoe. Who has time to look at? Hey, yo, if y'all if y'all can pull it up for me, watch the watch the dad I joints with the with the wood grain on the side of them shit. <laughs> they were actually they actually had real wood grain on basketball shoes. That is ridiculous. Yo, yo, J Dub, we just talked about that. Oh. The wades that had the little plastic window that, and they were low top. These right here, these right what, here. What are those? Those, those are the dadas of uh, the Chris Webber <laughs> dad joints. The oh all silver joints. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hold on, what? Can I can I tell you about a shoe that it, it it's a legendary shoe, but it just annoys the it just annoys. Look at him, pull that up. Give what it to him, guys. This? That's the data with the wood this? grain. Data. With the wood <laughs> grain. Look at the that, yo, yo, shoe. Data the, with the wood, wood grain. grain, yo. I'm telling y'all, y'all be motherfuckers, yo. These are some ugly ass wood grain so data. Like these is Chris Webbers. <laughs> these are Chris Webbers. <laughs> Look at Chris Webbers right here. <laughs> <laughs> Top five ugliest ass shoe I've ever Yo, seen. What's the ones with the rims on? Who's the rims? Spreewells. Spreewells. Dad, Dad, I made them Spreewells. The Look at Chris Webbers! <laughs> Yo, man. A shoe that annoys me, it's a classic shoe to a lot of people. The Birdman's. <laughs> no. No. Oh, here they go. Here go the Spreewells. Hold on, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, would you see? No, you y'all thought I was joking. And the rim spins. The rim spins. <laughs> that <laughs> rim. <laughs> well, yeah. The rim spins. Okay, so you know it's 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 a real thing. I wasn't even making that up. The shoe that annoys me uh, the most, though. What's that? Uh, the Pippin A I R joints. The joints that got the big ass. A-I-R oh, now that that's just fire. That's why I said they classic, but. They fly. That's when they came out. I hated them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hated them. Yeah, I, hated them. Yeah. I was like, now they're classic. They don't. Right. They don't. Right. Right. True, don't true story. I had a pair. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't, don't, like, don't like. But when I saw it, I was like, why the fuck did they put AIR? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't like the Jordans with the fucking the funny tongue. What's the Jordans? They look like they kind of like the Kobe's, except they got the fucking oh, and, the, and you know, it, it flaps yeah, around the flag. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Them joints, I hated them joints. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I thought the uh, the wood joints was the one that looks like the ones that look, got a maxi pad on the side of them shits. <laughs> What's the joints? Y'all know the joints I'm talking about. Jordan has got a maxi. Actually, look at they got the maxi pad like it's like on the side of the shits. You know what the fuck? This the joint like ten <laughs> something like that. Somebody let me know what. So you don't like want you a Jordan lover. I love right. Jordan, but I, none of them look like they got a maxi pad. The ones with the little, they look like you got a slice of bread on the side of them shits. You have to show me what you're talking about. You know what Jordan's no I'm talking about. Can I see, can I see the Jordan? So can, uh, since we yeah. got a live studio audience. You There's only so. a couple of pair of Jordans that didn't, that ain't really that popular. The fucking Jordan had a little string, a little string. Oh, oh, yeah, wow. sneakers. Yeah, yeah. Look, oh, oh, the uh, Funk the Master Flex. The Funk Master Flex lugs. Yeah, See, you all, yo, every day, yo, Sam, we kill it. Big dog pit bulls. <laughs> would, would you get caught dead? It's some fuck master flex. Yeah, fuck some master. casual, casual love. Now listen, don't get me wrong. Wear whatever you like. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? Uh, yo, right. just pull up a whole list of all joint sneakers. It's the ones that like got the maxi pads on. But that's oh, watch this. but that's crazy. What did I do? I think I just deleted everything. Did you delete everything? <laughs> God damn, Cosby. No, I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay, cool. Hold on. What the Jordan said, man? <laughs> I got Maxi it back here. The Maxi Jordans. Um, yeah, so let us know what some of your... Let's see. What you said? The Glenn Rice out of Nautica. These the boys Maxi right here. J's. These shits right here. They look like they got a... When they was in a white, they look like they got a Maxi Those pad on them. are the most comp... You crazy. These Those shits like got a Maxi pad on these Those shits. Those are classic. Yo, when you... I hated those J's don't until trust. I put some on. Listen, I don't care. Those are the when it was in the white, when it was in all I, white, that I shit was when what? I, you see that black uh, colorway? Nah, them J's are fire. Yo, them J's had maxi pads on them. The 13s, those are the most comfortable J's. Put some on your feet. 
I'm you never wearing Michael Jordan. Nah. Because it came with Maxi Pat. Them, Yo. them 13s are the most comfortable. Those are the, those are the Jordans all yeah. plays with wings. But you got the 14s. <laughs> the 13s are the most comfortable, Jay. All the like, with wings. You feel like you got like a mattress. Like you know a, why? Temper Peter. You, yeah, feet. exactly. Because it's a part of a mattress. That's why. That's, <laughs> you look like he cut that shit off the mattress. The Jordans, the Jordans with the third. <laughs> all the way with wings. These Ferraris look like some Starburst. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They cool. They designed them after the Ferrari. These are the 14s, right? Yeah, those, those joints was was so not. the so the fourteens were actually inspired by the Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? So like the Kobe Bryant was like, supposed to be um, yeah. inspired by the McLaren too. There's been a lot of the all white ones. They were they were survived by um, by actual men. <laughs> In general, I was disappointed with the legacy of Kobe sneakers. There's yeah. two or three pairs that are banging, with but the, the legacy of his sneakers. Terrible. He got too many. Now, I like the first one was the ones with the, with, nah, the, one he, the nah. ones with the rounded joints with the Adidas. The rounded ones. Yeah, the one that had the eight on there. Yeah. Those are like probably his most eight. classic code. That one and the low top one, the, the black mamba joint Mama's that just came probably. out. Those are hot. But a lot of cats don't ball in low top sneakers. You got to be a, That's what, a certain they, type they, of quality. Then he went from low tops to extra high tops when he had the motherfucking thigh high um, Kobe's. Them yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Was just lace up to your thigh. <laughs> yeah, but you had a zipper. It was like a tight <laughs> gown. That ah, what you doing? I, I put on my Kobe. The, the Jordan like twenty ones were like that too. The twenty one or twenty two Jordans. You yeah, had to damn near put them on like a pair of pants. Like them shits was like you got to <laughs> slip into them. Let me like, get all up way up here. Yeah, the camouflage ones. Those, I'm those so are my to favorite. Be. I, I just the first one, Brian. All, all like LeBron James. Before, like, Bron, yo, Bron, 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 Bron and KD both. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. Expensive as fuck, but bang. Bron, Bron sneakers in, his, in the beginnings, them shits was terrible. Like the ones, yeah, the ones up. that looked like they was fucking um chopped up, like fucking maybe uh, the first, uncooked dough. Yeah, yeah maybe the first worse. couple, but they on a roll now. Every pair of J uh, Bronze that's come out since then been kind of hot, man. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't really big fan. I ain't been. Yeah, them thick ass soles on them shits though. Yeah, but then they don't wear out. I think that he probably he had the ACG boots and fucking um of ACG. Yo, ACG ACG boots to put three inches on y'all. I be six foot in ACG boots, yo. You feel right? You feel rather tall with them shits on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. If you have never been tall like me, um, get your pair of ACGs. Allen Iverson. I used to love the AIs, man. The AIs. But questions, questions, unquestionable. Yeah, one of the best yeah. sneakers ever. Yeah. Some of the answers though questionable, like the answers with the zippers on them. Mm, I hate yeah, I, I didn't fuck with those. The, uh, the Jason Kids mm -hmm. uh, with the with the iridescent. It was like a like a thermal, like purple blue. Yeah, iridescent bubble on the side. I love those. Man, shout out to Tim Duncan with the first with the first phone posits. Tim Duncan had the first phone posits. Yeah, is that true? Mm -hmm. So sure. David Robinson. Dave Roberts had the first phone posits. No, no, I think no. Tim Duncan had the phone posits. Then Barkley came out with him. We can argue with him. The Barkley phone posits, one eighty airs, and the OGs, the OG joints. Yeah, I those got are those. Fire. Those are those are the the fires. Barkley's like the with the black. Barkley never the had a bad pair of sneakers nah, though. Barclays he never had a pair of sneakers. A bad pair of sneakers. Yeah. Like yeah, the Bo Jackson too. The Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson is the best. Bo, Dion, Bo has some banger sneakers. Dion, the, the Junior Seals, the Griffies. Like, oh, yeah. yo, I got all, yo, the all, all the Griffies. I, 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 I copped every Griffie. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I even if I didn't have the money, I'd just be broke. The Answer Nines, yo, y'all got the y'all pull up a picture of the Answer Nines. I don't think I've seen those. Who made those? Uh, who made the Answer Nines? Was that's yeah, when he was Reebok? Was it Reebok? Did unless he had to deal with somebody else. All, all of the the, the genius the sneakers was terrible too. Let's let's talk about that. Like, did you buy a pair of genius shoes sneakers? from White Man Can't Dump? Them the David Robinson forces. Yeah, yeah David that, uh, that that Woody Harrelson had on. Them them David Robinson forces. Which ones the answer? Oh yeah, they are terrible. Yeah, those did suck. Okay, these are terrible. Them joints look like the Marty McFlies. <laughs> they got a little genius. Oh, they got yeah, yeah. They just went, they didn't try with AI on that one. Everybody, That's the ones with the pumps on them. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. The phone positive Pippins? Yeah. No, the, the original Pippins, the ones that were just plain, with the little swoosh on the shit. They had the little swoosh on the toe, the first Pippins. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all remember them shits? Mm. Pippin 1s or whatever, the Pippin 2s? Them joints just like, they just look classic. They just like sleek ass shoes. They look. I gotta remember. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, that's that. Yeah, those were fire. Those yeah. were hot. Those were really hot, actually. Okay. Because Penny had a pair too. Oh, the first, the pennies. Yeah, the penny phone pennies phone had the best. The no, what's up? From penny number one to the penny phone pods, Penny had the best, hands down, 
Sneak is he kind of cheated because when you, you it's he not, had a run. He had yo, a yo, run. when I'm saying this right, you kind of cheated because when you rock that 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 damn that that magic blue and black and silver, like you can't you can't lose with them shits. Yeah. The pennies was dope. There's there's no bad pair of bows. When Next, you, stop there's, there's not a bad pair of Bo Jackson sneakers. Um, I don't think there's a bad pair of. Mm, the Gary, Gary Payne had some bad shoes. I don't like the yeah. like the zippers. That's when that zipper shit start coming into it. I'm trying to think of the athletes that like have that legacy and they who ain't got like terrible that. shoes. Fucking who else had mad bad shoes, man? Because I, I used to like the Nepal Georges. Yeah, the Paul Georges are real hot. I'll tell y'all this: the Megatron, Megatron had a sneaker that was dope as fuck. And they didn't really promote it, right? But Megatron. That was the one when Puffy was pu pushing it, right? Yeah, yeah Megatron was like hot. Like they were real hot, but nobody really messed with those at all. But uh um the Dion's, if y'all remember the Dion's that came out that had the strap, the diamond. Yes, the, uh, yeah, the diamond, football the turf. The, with the football in the back yeah, of the back. Yes. The diamond yeah. and the turf Dion's were fire. Those were those were flames. Those when you when you play when you play football or cross trainers is what they're called. Because you cross train them. Yeah. So yeah, Justin said what now that they were made intentionally for Pippin, but they gave them to Penny the phone posits. Okay, oh, a good. <laughs> hey, well, Penny took them and ran with them. The Jason kids, Jason like kid. the the phone posits. They had. I, I want to say they had some phone Jason kids. The zooms. I didn't like the zooms. The zooms, zooms. The zooms was with the with the, the fucking with the kids. Yeah, yeah I didn't I like the zooms. About. You didn't like the zooms? Nah, because they had the little fucking portholes in them shits. Mm -hmm. Like. Nike, I don't know what the fuck Nike was on with some of these sneakers, yo. They was like, yo, fuck, we just gonna do shit. Yeah. We just gonna do shit. What's time? Yo, it's like 10.30, so we're gonna, you know, we're getting ready to wrap it up. But, like, let me know. What's your your favorite sneaker of all time, man? Everybody out there in uh, Ratchet. Bo Jackson, State, hands man. down. Bo Jackson? Bo Jackson. Best colorways. I'm most sneaker. comfortable sneaker. Yeah. Boxy. I like my I like my sneakers real boxy. So Jordan Fives. Jordan Fives for you. Okay. My rainbow flip flops. Love. Rainbow flops for Steven. <laughs> <laughs> you got a favorite? Just Harachis for some reason. I was like Harachis are all dope. Yo, oh, yeah, Harachis. Yeah, I like, I like Harachis. Yeah, Harachis are all dope. I thought I thought he was I thought uh, Thurs would say like some some nice um, Ken of Cole loafers. <laughs> yeah. Air Max ninety seven. What you got? Eat? Lebron's. I'll say the first generation AI. Mm -hmm. First generation AI. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite. Yeah. Air Max ninety sevens. You can't. You can't go wrong with the Air Max ninety sevens. Yeah, I'm. A, Those I'm, are dope. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a. I'm an Air Max guy. I love Air Max, but uh, I think my favorite gonna be probably them Jordan, like the ones. Honestly, the classic style of the one right. yeah, in different colorways. I just love that format of sneaker. Them Jordan ones is it for me, bro. Those and. Uh, What's the other one? And, and somebody the said, Bose. Somebody and said the Kazi threes. The Kazi threes. <laughs> no, that's right. Cause I the threes. I was a. I'm three heavy. I had some threes on the day. I rock any chance. Like you calling me out, Jay? No, I'm a three dude. That is the threes are my favorite uh, Jays though. The threes, one through five, really are my favorites. Honestly, the OGs. Everything one through five, I like a lot. And um. Also, the bows, all okay. the Bo Jackson sneakers are fired to right. me. I love them very much. Like I, I, anytime I see them, I've had about three or four. I've had all those three or four different ways. I got a gray pair now. I had a black. Like yeah, I love the bow sneakers. Bo Jackson, you gotta sneakers. get me started on that. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Anything else we got popping off though? Oh, uh, yo, what you got going on? Uh, Intelligently Ratchet dot com. Mm -hmm. um, you can watch all the old episodes right there. Intelligently Ratchet dot com. Also remember. Go to the page, man. If you haven't liked Intelligently Ratchet page, most of y'all already have, but go to the Intelligently Ratchet page. Please hit the like button. We're trying to make a thousand likes. I don't know what we're going to do with a thousand likes. I just want to see the number. I want to see a thousand people like us. Um, <coughs> our uh, GoFundMe account. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get that GoFundMe. We're trying to be bigger and better for 2017. It's like this. We ain't even a year old yet. We don't turn a year old until August. So, you know what I'm saying? We haven't been doing it that long. Um, so, man, like, make us the, the best thing out on Facebook Live. Uh, what else? Uh, Bishop Omega and stuff. Yeah. And uh, shouts out to them Tar Heels tomorrow. About to go ahead and get this W. We're playing them Blue Devils. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like it tough. If like you're it tough. Uh, if you're a Tar Heel out there watching right now. 
Uh, you, you know, I see J-Dub bringing it up. We're going to um, play them Tar Heel. I mean, I play them Blue Devils. Um, the first meeting, of course, we're going to play twice. But uh, bring on water, too. Need my boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, the camera crazy is going to fuck y'all up with that water shit. I think they can drink the water. He's going to fuck y'all up with that water shit. I like, think yo. they'll be all right with the water. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Blue Devils checking in now. Look at all Look these at angry faces. You lost view with shit. Look at all these angry faces. All these Blue Devils checking in. Ah, what it do? What's going on? All the Blue Devils. Oh, shit. Yep. All the Blue Devils checking in right now. But, uh, yeah, the Tar Heels going to handle their business uh, most definitely, um, to, you know, tomorrow night. So I got my money on them Tar Heels uh, winning that game. Yup, yup, let me know, let me know, yup, good day to be a Tar Heel, you know. Yeah, we are going to come down and check you out, J-Dub. We're going to definitely come to a Hornets game, right? you know what I mean? Yeah, most definitely. But, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, check us out. Um, We'll be, hopefully, I think we're going to be back at the vault next week. Right. Uh, we're going to be with Jay Rowdy, the kid, and the kid hater going to come through. Oh, nice, nice. Um, this, week we, we, this week we didn't have a guest because, you know what, the, they didn't have enough money. <laughs> it's cool. We, it's all good. We just uh, holding it down with just us tonight, but it's been a good situation. Um, shouts out to uh, Bull City Cigars in the building. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah. Always. Bull City you know Cigars. Mean? Um, we were watching you live. Okay, hey, that's, that's up, a good situation. Up, up. It's always better, you know, to come be in the building. So if y'all see where we at live, um, come through and check us out. We are at the groom room. We'll be at the vault at times. We've been at Bull City Cigars. So anytime you see the we we in, we in a heavy live. rotation with these these places. Yeah. Also, man, anywhere we at, man, please go out there and support those businesses or whatever. Because when y'all come out and support them, it makes that business a lot better. And then what we do. We get to come in and do shit like this for free and keep their lights and shit on way past time and do cocaine in the back. That's right. That's <laughs> like I said, all the proceeds will not go to Bishop's cocaine <laughs> habit. Just a small portion. Small portion. Yeah. We'll whatever. go to Bishop's cocaine. cocaine. Whatever he can get out now, of I'm, I'm, house, my, so. new, my new drug is going to be them ling yings. <laughs> <laughs> the ling yings. But yeah, uh, coming in the coming weeks, uh, next week, like I said, we got Jay Rowdy, Kid Hater. The week after that, we're going to have uh, Jacoby, Lil Bob Doe, yeah. uh, Tree Carter from Wrecking Crew. He's been on tour with Quentin Miller. So, you know, we'll be, we be, excuse me, be, 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 we'll be with them at their location in two weeks. Right. And uh, then we're looking to be back at the vault in March. Man. Yeah. So, and yo, uh, shout out, like, major shout out to uh, to, to E, man. Cause, yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Because like you cool. just listen, I want y'all to do mean faces of Kazi. Kazi hit me today because we're supposed to do. Intelligently rats in the Kazi's house tonight. That's sick. Okay. That's why we did that's what I'm so that's fine. That's fine. Okay. But I'm saying right. he called me. He called me. What time I hit you up, E? Like at two? Last, like two three. Two thirty, yeah, three, three. three o'clock. Like I was like, yo, like E. <laughs> he was like, I was like, yo, E. Yo, we you know what I'm saying? Yo, we did he didn't even say he, I didn't even, I couldn't even give him a, I couldn't even give him a sob story. Like, oh I man, was like, yo, just to ask everybody you, sent, yo, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't get yo, That's shout out to bad, e for the last minute coming through with us or whatever, because like I said, we supposed to be at the crib, or else we would have invited y'all to come out to the groom room, y'all could have came out. And I'm sorry about that, Camilla, or whatever. But yo, we go when we next time we at the at the, at the next time we at the vault, we will come down. Um, and then yeah, you could definitely because she's got a good cause that's going on. Yeah. Uh, send it, send us the email, Camilla, so we can go ahead and post it up or whatever. And she won't, you know, I mean, we gonna give you like five minutes and, and um, holler at it. So that's my fault. I thought we wasn't gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Okay. But yo, this has been Intelligent Ratchet. Yeah. So before we get up out of here, hit me on there, Kazi Four Letters that's on right. Instagram, Black Kennedy on the Twitter. Um, Black Kennedy SoundCloud. Yep, everything like that. Everything's popping off real big right now. And um, like I said, support the GoFundMe. Yes. And um, yeah, we'll be back. Give us $3. All we want is $3. That's yeah, all we need. Exactly. Share it in your timeline. And if you have any questions, concerns, you want to be a guest on the show, hit us intelligently ratchet at, at gmail.com. Dot com. There right. it is, man. Share it with your people. With right. your people, stuff like that. Hey. What's up? And if you're not doing anything tonight, Look at your lover <laughs> and tell him Mike Pence is zesty. <laughs> if you missed what that's about, just Google Mike Pence, uh, the Mike Pence picture of the day. Pretty shocking shit, all right? But uh, yeah, for Bishop Omega, your boy Kazi, for the groom room, check him out over here at Durham. Get your hair cut, get your hair did, and uh, we'll see y'all next week. Peace out. <laughs>